Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is super interesting and super crazy because as we all know that new Pokemon kind of got leaked or whatever and nobody knew really what it was or what it was supposed to be or whether Niantic messed up or whatever. Well, in today's community day, which of course was Chikorita and you get shiny Chikorita everything like that, this dude started appearing everywhere just literally everywhere and also there was footage of it there was new gameplay of it animations of it everything like that so we're just going to take a look at that today because honestly it is just like the craziest marketing thing ever by niantic if it was not a like a mistake but anyway if you guys are excited for the video drop a like down below it really does help out and uh yeah let's get into the video i really hope you guys enjoy so here we are first on Cerebi. I'm also going to show you the animation of it when it's standing next to the trainer and also what it was like on Community Day today because honestly, it was crazy. But anyway, after the reveal in the network traffic, when Community Day ended in Asia Pacific, Oceana, many Pokemon turned into the brand new Pokemon shown. So this dude here, this little old like cute little uh, new Pokemon, that's kind of all we know what it is so far. Um, however, when captured, it immediately turned into a Ditto, and sometimes Chikorita and other Pokemon. At present, it's not clear why this is happening, but we'll provide updates as when it comes. Uh, and then it goes on to say, Niantic's head of marketing for Pokemon Go in Japan, Kento Suga, has started tweeting about this, indicating that it is a tease and not a mistake. So, obviously, they put it in the game, I'm, I'm pretty sure, for it to do this but it, it's crazy like what does it mean like nobody knows everyone thought it was a huge mistake but obviously they're not gonna mess up that bad and of course if this dude is tweeting about it as well it, it's obviously a tease isn't it obviously like if he was tweeting about it like oh this is happening if it was a mistake he'd be like oh no i've got to get rid of it like real quick so yeah i it's crazy like i don't know if it's marketing or whatever but it is crazy by pokemon's part and i i just can't wait to get more information about it really because i don't even know what kind of pokemon it is like the fact that it turned into ditto as well i mean a lot of people did think it was like ditto's body which it kind of has but then it's got like this cog kind of thing at the top as well with the little eyeball that moves around anyway the pokemon then changed into a kecleon in spawns and then and then has now disappeared at present there is no further information over this unusual turn of events our new pokemon page has been updated it then goes on to say it is now spawning in great numbers in europe for half an hour much like the japanese spawn so obviously i went and did a uh, community data there call like 12 shanch creators awesome and then obviously it ended and i had no clue that this was happening in like the asia pacific and stuff like that so when it all happened i was like what the heck what's going on Obviously, I was trying to catch them all. They were all turned into Ditto. I tried. I caught like 15, hoping that one of them wouldn't change into Ditto, but they all changed into Ditto. I don't know what that means. Um, I feel like it, it, the fact that it changed the Ditto has something to do with it. Like, I, I really don't know, though. This Pokemon must be linked to Ditto in some way. I mean, it, it does like look like a Pokemon that could be linked to Ditto in some sort of way, but um, I don't know. It, it's just honestly it's crazy the fact like it's, it's honestly mind-blowing like there's this massive thing that leaked everyone thought the night took a messed up badly and then it starts popping up in the game it's just a massive 360 they basically played us they really did they played us um but yeah anyway this is the animation from the the twitter account only link pokey bip um but yeah this is the animation so we can watch this obviously he's hacked the game so he can do this but look the little eyes moving and everything like that it looks like a really cute little dude um but yeah i don't know i want to know but i'm just so excited to see what pokemon have in store because honestly it's so so crazy just seeing this man it's so so cool but um yeah so this is obviously just the animation of the pokemon and that's kind of it and then he goes to your buddy stuff like that it's nothing new there and then uh we're gonna go on to the actual gameplay so this is from game explain uh, the link to this will be in the description down below but of course this is basically what it was like on community day for everybody um so obviously chikorita finished it was chikorita day it finished um and then they just appeared everywhere like as we can see here like this dude uh, literally just appears out of nowhere and then he's got like question marks question mark with the cp is jumping up like raving his head and everything like that head banging but um yeah this is literally what it was and and they they were here for like this this dude's not very good at frying um but they were here for like half an hour and then they started like spawning much less frequently but there was literally on my nearby there was just a just literally this thing so whatever it is whether it's a pokemon or whether it's i don't even know i really don't but this is just the gameplay of it 
I just think it's one of the best marketing things Nintendo have ever done, if it is part of that, like, because it's got everyone talking about it, and everyone is talking about it. Obviously, they did it, like, see, it's turned into a ditto there, and that, that's what it did with all of them, they just got ditto candy as well. Um, and yeah, they literally just appeared everywhere, and the people just catching them over and over again. It was honestly really crazy, but yeah, if it is some sort of marketing scheme, I mean, it's got everyone talking about it, everyone, they, like, they probably knew that it was going to get leaked, it might have actually helped them out because it got people talking about it even more. Everyone thought this was a brand new Pokemon. This Pokemon was also uh, next to the number like 892 or something like that, I think. Uh, which basically showcases that um, we're going to be at least getting that many Pokemon from 808 to 892 in Generation 8. If it is a Generation 8 Pokemon, we don't know what it is. It might just be. It's not a placeholder, obviously. It's got a shiny form as well, uh, as we all know. Um, so... Whether this Pokemon is going to be available in Pokemon Go, who knows? Um, I don't think this is the new Pokemon for Let's Go Pichu and Let's Go Eevee. I don't think that's going to be it. Like, why would it be? You know, it wouldn't be appearing in the wild. Like, whether this is a mistake or not, like, it's going to only be obviously available through that gift. So, that's kind of that. But um, honestly, I think it is the craziest thing ever. And I'm just, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I just want, I can't wait to see what happens next. But um, so, yeah, I, I feel like it definitely has some sort of um, linking to Ditto, though. Like I said, it looks a little bit like a little bit like. I mean, obviously you got the you got the is it the metal powder I think or something like that for Ditto that like boosts his speed or whatever. Um, maybe that has something to do with that. I don't know. It kind of looks like some sort of alien thing. I've seen people talking about it being linked to like Saturn and stuff like that. I I, I wouldn't personally go that far. I don't know. I I don't know. But um, <clears throat> the fact that Niantic's head of marketing uh, for Pokemon Go in Japan, Kento Sugu, was tweeting about it. Um, it just indicates, like I say, this is a tease. It's not a mistake. It can't be a mistake. They they wouldn't mess up that bad. I can't I can't see Game Freak um, Niantic messing up that bad because they would have been in a lot of lot a lot of trouble um, if that was the case. But yeah, so I guess all we really do now is wait. I mean, like they they also revealed this. Uh, it's been announced that Japanese variety show Pokenshi will uh, from its will from its episode airing next week on September 30th, 2018, have a new segment which will present the latest video game news regarding Pokemon. This segment will then likely continue onwards. This matches a similar segment that aired on the show in the run-up to Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and its predecessor Pokemon Smash uh, for Pokemon X and Y, which was often a roundup but did sometimes showcase new elements and new footage with provide full details. So maybe something about this is going to get announced on that. Maybe it's kind of like a little build-up. I don't know. I feel like we're definitely going to get like a trailer drop something to kind of like clear everything up. I hope so anyway. It's not just going to be like a massive mistake. We all know that. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that we get... we Because it, it's just a really cool little mystery at the moment. It's a really cool little puzzle that Pokemon and Niantic are doing. And they're playing everyone. Um, but yeah, when that popped up today, everyone was just going crazy for it. But um, So yeah, the, the Pokenshi thing is super interesting. Um like i say could have something about this hopefully it shows some new footage the pokenshi that we got last time was really really subpar like they said it was going to be some exclusive worldwide thing and it just ended up being new using attacks which they just showcased in like a next another trailer anyway so hopefully we get something big like we got obviously the field moves the week before that which showcased a lot of new stuff because obviously we basically got introduced to the field moves and we found out the hms were definitely not in the game blah 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 um so the week after that, obviously, we've got the Mew moves. And then obviously, the week after that, which will be this weekend? No, it'll be next weekend. Okay, so yeah, they missed a week. But uh, apparently, that's going to hopefully have some new footage. And I hope that they just showcase something new. Um, like I said, it might have something about this Pokemon, but we ain't going to know until we see it. But I'll, I'll obviously make a video about that, guys, when it does get um, announced. And if there is any new gameplay, you know, I will show you guys. Uh, <clears throat> but, but yeah, the main story today is... This happened on Community Day, um, and I'm sure it, I'm, I'm making this video before like um, America's Community Day, but I'm sure it's gonna pop up there as well. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about it? What, what what do you think it is? Do you think it is the new Pokemon for Let's Go Pikachu? Let's Go Eevee? Do you think it's a Generation Eight Pokemon? Do you think it's just like some random thing that they're just kind of doing to market the games? Who knows? But I would love to know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are about this. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do drop a like down below. Really appreciate it. Really just help out the video, the channel, all of that good stuff. And of course, my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, and Patreon. Count will be found in the description down below as well if you want to check any of that out. But yeah, that's everything from me though, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And let's find out what this Pokemon is in the upcoming weeks, hopefully. But yeah, guys, until next time, peace.